smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you, feels so special channel i am off to melbourne for the day today with mecca for mecca land so i am going to take you along and film as much as possible um i'm really looking forward to this trip it's been a long time coming and i can't wait to see what mecca's got in store for us <laughs> just as i imagined it with all the turns and all the twists you taste like fire Thank you. 
Hey guys, it's the next day. Do you like my two-faced sunglasses? <laughs> I wish you could see what they look like because they are the most trippiest thing. Like I can't even see the mirror. Um, but it is the next day. I was so tired. We went out for dinner. Go to Mark and Vinny's if you live in Sydney because it's a really cool pasta and spritz bar. It opened like last night. I didn't realize, but I booked it um, and it was really good. But these are the two-faced sunglasses that I got. How cool are they? I wonder if you can kind of see like... Like that's how trippy, oh there you go, that's how trippy they are. <laughs> They're so cool, we all put them on and we were like, well we can't see where we're walking but that was really cool. So I wanted to go through what I got, all the merch, um, a lot of you asked to kind of do what I got kind of thing and all the products were there because I think a lot of them are exclusive to Mecca Land and as you know, Mechaland, it sold out in an hour. Um, this isn't sponsored, by the way. They didn't ask me to do this. I just thought it'd be amazing to do. They did fly me down. Um, and yeah, it was such a good event. Um, it was just so overwhelming. Like I was like, it was 25 brands. I tried to film as much as possible. Um, but I was just like, when you got there, it was just so overwhelming. You were like, there's so much color that you just didn't know. So if they do another one, which I think they will, make sure to go check it out. Hopefully they bring it to Sydney maybe, because I think Sydney would do really well. Um, but yeah, let's get through it. Um, they gave us those little patches. So this is all the merch. So you got that there. And then a hat. I'm not much of a hat girl, like a cat girl, but this is pretty cool. So it's got that. And it's got Mechaland on the back. And then this jumper, which saved me on the plane home because I was kind of freezing, um, is this little jumper. Can you see? It's so warm. And then it's just got the little Mecca thing on the back. So that saved me on the plane. Thank you. <laughs> um, so that was all the merch that I got. And now we'll go through all the products. Um, I've just done a run. So yeah, I struggled a little bit. I only had to do three and a half this morning, which was good. But... Yeah, let's just get through all this and I can go have a shower. <laughs> so I'm going to start with Too Faced, um, the unicorn, tents, yeah, unicorn Tears. I was really impressed with this stand. I just wanted to stand next to it, excuse the pun, all the time because it was just so colourful. Like, you'll understand how, like, colourful Mecca is. Like, and this, like, bronzer is just amazing. I'm just trying to see that. It was just like the colors and everything was just amazing. Um, and then this unicorn, it's part of their unicorn tears collection. Um, it's a mystical effects lipstick. So I put it on, I swatched it. Um, it's that one there. So hopefully you can see that. And that is something else I swatched, but um, that is the lip gloss hopefully this doesn't go for too long i'm so sorry if it does um and next up was the hourglass which was the other thing that i swatched down there 
Um, I have been dying to try these hourglass things. Everyone raves about them and it's the highlighter there. So I can't wait to try that. Um, I just really liked their stand as well and I just thought all their products that they were testing out on people just looked amazing. This is the lighting powder dim light um, by Hourglass. My sister likes Hourglass. She's always been raving about it and that is just amazing. So, and I really love the packaging. They are so on point with their packaging. Okay, next up is the Naked. You would have known I went to the Urban Decay event. This is the Petite Heat pack. Um, so there, and then look at that look how amazing that is <laughs> um next is the bare minerals i really liked bare mineral stuff i think i would love some of their foundations um this is the powdered blush i think it's a beautiful color so there it just looks incredible Again, it's such a simple packaging, but absolutely beautiful. Uh, Mario Badesco, or I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you know that I've gone to their spa so many times. I love all their products, especially their like mists and sprays. Um, I have the rose water, but this is the new one. Definitely get it. They had like lavender everywhere for their stand. I think you would have seen it, but like it was just so beautiful. <laughs> um, next is, I think it's Kate. I don't really know, but like, I'm sure some of you will be able to tell me uh, if you can see that, but it's their dewy highlighter sticks. Um, so it's that, I don't know if you can, you, know, you can't see it on there. So, but that is the dewy sticks by Kate. That's really cool. Actually, if I knew how to kind of use that properly, which I probably will Google it, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, this is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. So I think one color fits all and it's kind of like a buildable thing. Um, I'll do it with that because you can see it better. But that's that. I'm not too sure how to use it, but it looks really good and everyone was raving about this as well. So I will definitely let you know how that goes because I love anything brow stuff. One of the products that I was really excited to try and I just wiped all the swatches under my thing sorry um was the drunk elephant everyone raves about it i think i've said everyone raves way too much already in this thing but everyone was raving about drunk elephant and the eye cream was something that everyone was like you have to try so that is that so i will report back i'm going to take it to la with me next week and i'm going to try it out um we have the skin the firming eye gels I'll try and get through these as quick as possible. So that's that. We have Glam Glow Firming Treatment Mask. So that's that. Dermalogica, it's a uh, cleansing gel, microfoliant, smoothing cream, and power firm. So I've used some of their products, I'm sure most people have at some time in their life. Uh, Bumble and Bubble Dry Shampoo. I always love a good dry shampoo. Ren, I have used Ren. Really excited to try this. It's a Glow Daily Tonic. So I can't wait to try that. And it's a massive bottle as well. Gotta love that. <laughs> um, Origins, you know I've used Origins. This is their eye cream. I think I've spoken about this one before. So I can't wait to use that because I actually ran out of that. Um, Nars, you all know I love my Nars like bronzer and the new fluid kind of is it blush? Yeah. Um, but this is this palette. So what is this? This is the NARS. I want to make sure I get it for you. Danger Control palette. So that. Like, look at those colors. That is really beautiful. Even I'm impressed and I'm not much of a eyeshadow kind of girl, but I was talking to Oz Beauty Expert. Um, I sit next to her on the plane. I just use her Instagram handle so you can go check her out. Um, but she was saying um, she loves eyeshadow and I don't really use it. She's like, you should give it a go. So I might give that a go. Um, YSL, I did like a little tattoo. You would have seen that. And they tried a lip cloth, like a lipstick on me. Some of their lipsticks are really, really dark. Um, they, the one I got in my pack was, what's this one? 
number 15. So I do like YSL products and that is, it's quite a dark, I don't know if you can see that color, but it is quite dark. I will, I'll put that down so I don't spill it. So it's that one on the end there. So it's actually quite a nice, yeah, that's really nice. I thought that might be too dark, but I'm going to try that one. <laughs> um, everyone was raving. Okay. Yep. Yeah, everyone is raving. This is what I should title this thing as. <laughs> um, this Mashbox ladder collaboration, I think it was like packed. Um, these are little simmer drops. So I think you put them in anything that you kind of want, like to use as a highlighter on your lips, on your cheeks. Um, you add these little drops in, so it's gold glitz. So everyone was obsessed with that. Like that stand was packed. Um, you all know that I use Kate Somerville. To be honest, I have used this product. I'm not that, it just comes out weirdly. I don't know, but I do love all the other products, but I'm not that fussed by this one. This is the Derma Quench Liquid Lift. Just sprays little, but they used a machine and I was like, I think it would work better when you went to their spa in LA and did it like rather than at home. I used to, when I first started getting into makeup, I used to love Stiller products. And I got this Stiller one. It's quite like, I have to do this, hang on. I feel like Kylie Jenner with all the swatches. Um, is that one there. So up the top, so it's that one. Um, it's actually quite a nice color. It's very festively and which is what Mechaland is it's a very festively kind of thing. Wow, this has been going for eight minutes. This is too long. I'm sorry um, I got the Mecha Max Galactic Gloss Gloss. I won't open that but I'll show you that um, What else did I get? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, sorry. No, it's not I got the Grown Alchemist hand cream, which I absolutely love I actually got a lot of stuff the Hydra Mist um, another Kate uh, lip gloss, the glitter flip. There's that. Um, doo -doo -doo. What else is there? Oh, I got the Kate mascara. You know I love my mascara. There you go. That's that one. And replica, which I am obsessed with. Absolutely obsessed with. Um, it's the Mesa Margiela range. That it's about memories. So I got the Jazz Club, which is a male fragrance. So Shane actually really liked that, but they've got like this one that's like a memory of like sand and sea and ocean and stuff. So I'm gonna go to Mecca and actually buy that because I was walking around with that all day um, and absolutely <laughs> loved it. So that is pretty much it in my little kit that I got given. It was such a, I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, I think that was. <laughs> there is so much stuff around here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hopefully it wasn't so boring me going through what I got. Um, I do thank Mecca for this opportunity. Um, and yeah, like I might do a little giveaway of the stuff that I won't use. Um, so if you want to see me do the giveaway, please subscribe. <laughs> um, and I'll put together like I've got some makeup and skincare and some wear and some swimwear that I can kind of put together as like a little giveaway thing so I'll do that in the next couple of weeks um, so stay tuned for that but yeah I hope you enjoyed it it was such a fun long day but it was just amazing it was a really good event for their first time um, it was pretty damn good so well done Mecca Maxima <laughs> um, and to the whole team they're just amazing Mecca's always been really good to me um, but I will shut up now and I will let you enjoy whatever part of the day you're <laughs> watching this um, and I will see you next time next vlog I don't know there's one before LA I think but stay tuned <laughs> love you guys see you soon bye <laughs>